Hi, it's Doreen, and this is your annual card reading for 2016. I'm out here in the garden with the puppies. This is Feather. I don't know if you can see her, but Precious is down here. And undoubtedly, we'll have guest appearances by other animals because I'm surrounded, like Noah's Ark, by beautiful souls of the light. So I want to work this year with the Archangel Oracle cards because who better than the Archangels to watch over us during this intense year that we are already in the midst of. So I'm going to take the 44 cards and I'm going to pray over them. I've been praying over them. And I've been asking God and the angels for messages about what to expect for this year. And as I shuffle them, I'm receiving even more messages and so are you. So do pay attention to the messages that you receive as I talk about each card. I'm going to pull 12 cards, one for each of the months, and then talk about the messages that come up about what we can expect and how we can prepare for them. And so as I shuffle, I am looking for cards that are going to pop up for January 1st. The, the, not January 1st, but the first card for the first month. So I'm looking for a card that pops right up. And then I'm going to talk about the year in general and the messages I've been receiving. Okay, so that's going to be for January. And We'll go ahead and turn it over. And the card is peace. Now, this is really corresponding with what I've been receiving because what they show me is that 2016 is going to be very, very intense. And it's going to be a year where peace is going to be our overriding intention. We who are peace lovers, who do not profit from war or from corporations, those who are stewards of the planet, we're going to be the vocal ones. It's the, the word that they give me for this year is action. It's going to be a, word of, uh, a, a year of taking action. The angels have told me that there's going to be things happening all around us this year. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to say, oh, it's going to be a perfect year. Because on this earth plane of duality, nothing's perfect. But what it's going to be is a year where your inner peace gets tested. Not like a test pass fail, but things are going to come up for you. And it's really going to be your final exam. And I don't mean that in the, in the sense of anything um, cryptic or morbid. But it's a, it's a year where you add up 2, 0, 1, and 6. It's a 9 year. That's a year of completion where things come full circle. And so there goes Feather. <laughs> Feather, what are you going to do? You want to go down? Okay, there you go, sweetheart. It's going to be a year where no matter what happens, your assignment is to keep your inner peace and so to be unflappable. In prior years, we gave away our power of our peace to externals. We said, well, if it wasn't for this politician, if it wasn't for this corporation, if it wasn't for this person or this war or this experience or condition, then I'd be at peace. And giving away our power of peace like that ensures that we'll never be at peace. God created us all as peaceful individuals because God is peace. So inside of you is peace. And this starts off the year. This is so perfect as, as a, a focal point for 2016, the January card about peace. I wish that I could say that things were going to be, you know, like a, a fairy land or, or, you know, some sort of cartoon or even heaven-like where it's going to be complete peace. But I do foresee weather issues. I still see more attacks happening. I'm sorry. I do believe that we can lessen them uh, through our prayers and through being very aware. But there's a lot of people who are still focused on on money only and they make money with these things and so in their minds that's how they get peace it's not real peace but we're living on a planet with roommates who have big enough egos where they've gotten themselves into places of, of physical power not spiritual power and so with these roommates it's like if you have a noisy person who lives next door to you there's different ways to deal with it but it all comes back to this is an opportunity for you to learn how to be at peace no matter what. And if you can do that, you're going to be so proud of yourself by the end of all this. So 
Keep the peace. Keep the faith. And it all starts with being positive and seeing the blessings within everything. That doesn't mean that we need to sit down and be uh, doormats to what's going on. We should speak up, and we should speak up, first of all, with our spending habits. For instance, it's really important to me that we have organics. So growing our own organics, spending extra money to get organics, voting for politicians who support organics. These are some ways that we can make a difference in our world and still be at peace. And you know what your issue is, so think about that. So January is all about being at peace. And as I shuffle the cards and we take a look at what's coming up next, it's right here in the middle. I can see it coming up. And that one doesn't want to come up. You always want to make sure that your cards, you don't force them and pull them. You want to shuffle in a way that they come easily. See, that one doesn't want to come. We're looking at February, Lord. Okay, here's February. All right. It's overcoming difficulties. Again, this is the same theme. And this is Archangel Jeremiah, who's historically the Archangel who helps us with forgiveness and who helps us to review our lives. It really means that the worst is behind you. And if you look at it this way, that no matter what life brings to you this, this year, you're ready. Sometimes we don't know how strong we are until life pushes us to be strong. I know some of my most challenging experiences, and if you've read my books, you know that I've been through hell and back many, many times in this lifetime. And look, I'm still here. Nothing can push me off the path of positivity and faith. And it's the same with you, darling. Overcoming obstacles and overcoming difficulties is really what this is about. I mean, this year is going to be overshadowed with the American presidential election that's going to still be in the news around the world and please know that you have other options besides two candidates if there's two candidates that don't meet your needs and please know that researching these candidates is something that you have the right to do and take a look at this I mentioned that organics is very important to me so there's one potential candidate that I wouldn't vote for because she used to be an attorney with the corporation that creates genetically modified uh, organisms and it's in the news that she promised that corporation that if she's elected that she will protect them and, and ensure that we can have genetically modified organisms. I'm sorry if you're not political and that's a turn off for me to say that but that's not being reported real widely. Do your own internet search and you'll find out that we could be electing a Monsanto attorney, former attorney, who's promised to protect that corporation and is that really what you want? There's other candidates we can vote for and I've heard people say oh that's a wasted vote but it's never wasted if your energy is in that direction. We can stand up for candidates who believe like we do. So do your research and stand up. February is going to have a lot of information about this because the primaries are coming up. Don't vote for someone just because it seems like the easiest thing to do. Please, please know that that's going to make a big difference in the direction of our planet. The other candidate, too, is likely choice. I mean, there's also things that you don't want to vote for in him. So, you know, let's look for third and fourth options and speak up now in the primaries in the February and March arena. So, again, I know that a lot of people don't like politics, but the angels talk to me about them all the time and show me things. So it's my moral duty to speak my truth. So you can fast forward. No more politics. <laughs> now let's go to March and take a look at March. And I thought that one was going to come up. Here's March. Breathe. Looks like we're going to have a break in, in March. This is Archangel Raphael. He's the angel of healing. So this is especially for those of you who find, might find health challenges for yourself, your loved ones, your clients doing healing work. It really is about getting back to basics, he's saying. And it's really about taking really good care of your body from a holistic sense. And self-care is coming up very, very strong for the month of March. Healing is going to be a big operative word for that time. And they're telling me that if you put yourself in a shield of light, you call upon God and Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael to shield you, they're saying that your hypersensitivity, which is a good thing being hypersensitive, it means that you are aware Animals are hypersensitive. They're aware. It's part of being honest and on your path. That shielding yourself energetically will help with your health. 
So that's March. So we've got January, February, March. Let's take a, a look at April, my birth month. So it's always a favorite of mine. And see a card sticking up. Dear Lord, what do we need to know for April for the fourth month? That one doesn't want to come. And I know it's a process. <laughs> this is what I go through every time I draw cards. Here we go for April. Remember who you are. This is Archangel Michael, so it's a sign of being protected. And they're telling me that no matter what's happening in the world in April, that remember you are safe. Do not give away your power to thinking that you have to do this or that to be safe. They're saying, in particular, someone watching, your job is not your source. That's coming up as a message for someone who's in a job where they don't agree with it, where they are sticking with it because they think they have to. And they're telling me that you are, it says right here on the cards, you're powerful. You're a loving child of God, made in the image and likeness of God. So keep your power, darling. That includes speaking up for anything that's going on in this world that you don't believe in, that you'd like to do something to help. And remember not to get caught up too much in the illusion. Um, the, the illusion is very, very realistic. And there's a lot of fear in the illusion. And that includes the news. So do temper your connection to the news. And if you find that it's upsetting you, maybe look for another news source or turn it off or um, stay away from the social media or especially those who are reporting fear-based news. And that includes the alternative news. A lot of the alternative news is just as frightening as the mainstream news. So do watch your thoughts because it's really this year is about taking action and about peace. So what brings you peace? What brings you peace? Take a look at that for April and of course for the whole year. All right. Now we're getting into the month of May, and this card wants to come up. Interesting life review. We've got Archangel Jeremiah again, twice. He's only in this card deck three times. If he comes up a th third time, that means something really major. He is the Archangel that helps us to review our lives. So May is a really good time to take stock right before the middle of the year and say, how's it going? What changes do I want to make? What different path do I want to take? Go inside, not just looking at the externals, you know, like where you live and, and all that, but go within. How do I feel about myself? Do I feel loving toward myself? Do I accept myself? Do I feel good about myself? Do I feel like I'm in harmony with myself? And really review that and remember that God and Archangel Jeremiah can help you to really assess that and to get in touch with your truth. All right. Now let's go to the middle of the year, to June, and taking a look at this. And shuffling. Here is June victory. I love this for you, darling. This shows that you've been full on pressing the pedal to the metal. It means that you've been going for it. Um, this is a year for you to take charge and to make it your masterpiece. Not to look at this year as a dress rehearsal for the future, but to really live it as if it might be your last. Again, not to be morbid or anything, but just to really be in the moment. To really say, how can I take charge and do my life as I feel guided? And really live it like you had unlimited time, like you have unlimited money, like you have unlimited support. Really live it without fearing what other people may think. Having the courage to be your complete, total self. And that's what is coming up, that as you do that, things work out, and they tell me it work out quickly for you, that the ego will tell you, oh, that's going to take so much time. And they're telling me to tell you, no, things are really speeded up this year, that things happen really quickly. So be expecting miracles because they're here for us all. Now, let's take a look at July, the seventh month. Seven usually means that you're on a roll and creative writing comes up. Archangel Gabriel, the angel of messengers, her name means God is my strength or her, his. Gabriel is seen as male and female energy. And 
Archangel Gabriel says that you've got a book in you, or at least an article or a blog. So this is about you expressing yourself and expressing your truth. So July comes up with a lot of your spiritual teaching, a lot of your teaching and passing along your knowledge and your wisdom. They are telling me t that you're also going to have the confidence finally. This is something you've been wanting to do, but you've been making excuses and procrastinating because you've got perfectionism and you didn't feel quite ready. Well, you've conquered that demon and you're ready to be an open channel and letting God speak through you in the written word. They're saying that for some people this will also be um, creativity in a different form that includes um, artistry of many different forms. So it says writing, but they're saying this really has to do with creativity. And so what else do you want us to know? They said, surround yourself in gold and light and all will be well. Just surround yourself in gold and light and all will be well. I don't even quite know what that means, but that's what they just said. I'm assuming that that means a protection or a shield for July and really to stay into a bubble. So something's going on in July where you can really just kind of go into a cave, go into a quiet place of retreat, and just let the information pour out because there's a lot of information coming through you. And if you hold it in, you're going to feel blocked up. You're going to feel like, like there's this, like a, a hose that's got a kink in the hose. So do let it flow, darling, and make the time to do that. You are a super busy person, but you're not too busy to do the creativity because you need to do that. Just look for something that's in your schedule that's not that important, not a priority, and get rid of that and put the priorities in its place. And look at how this just fits in with us as we get to August. Spread your wings. Again, this is Archangel, well, it's not again, I thought it was Gabriel. This is Archangel Ariel. Archangel Ariel, the angel of earthly manifestation and nature, and, and especially the water, um, ocean, lakes, rivers come up in August. Might be a good time to go take a vacation to one of those places or even move to be near water or work with water or do healing work for the Earth's water sources. Drink more water comes up too. Spread your wings. So this relates to the part of the year. This is so empowering because what it really is is, is you saying, I'm not going to give my power away. I'm not going to wait for the world to be perfect and peaceful. I'm not going to wait for my schedule to be perfect. I'm not going to wait for my finances to be perfect because it's all within me. I create my own perfection, my own internal environment, and it's time for me to spread my wings and fly. So, wow, look at you overcoming fears and overcoming the world. How beautiful is that? Jesus promised us that we could overcome the world and he, that he is helping us. So let's take a look at September now. And as I spread my wings here, and shuffle some more. And I'm doing it with prayer. Nurture comes up. September, they're showing me, is a little quieter. That you've exerted a lot of energy. And child comes up. Inner child. Here's Gabriel again. And Gabriel, of course, is three times in this deck. And here is two out of these three cards. So we've got Jeremiah doing the life review twice. And Gabriel twice. That creativity, that being the messenger that being the teacher, and Gabriel, of course, famous for the Annunciation, so also very associated with birth and childbirth. So some who are watching this might be expecting, might be come with child or, or a successful adoption or working with children might come up very strong. But most of all, this is a card about nurturing your inner child. So they're asking me to ask you, when you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? That that held a lot of kernels of truth about your life purpose. So think about that as we're in September, really getting in touch with what you used to like to do when you were a child. Maybe you used to sing or dance or cre be creative or arts. It's time to bring that back. And they're saying not just as a child, but when you were a teenager, what did you like to do? And to nurture that part of you. Because even though you're an adult, your inner child is still needing your attention. Now let's go ahead and go to October. And 
October is such a time of where the veil is thin. That's Michael's birth month, so we always celebrate that. And let's take a look at what comes up for October. Sensitivity, how perfect for October, the sensitive Scorpio month, <laughs> that you may be feeling a little more emotional, but they're saying this has to do with your creativity, to channel your sensitivity into your creative work and your teachings. They're saying don't be afraid of your s seemingly fragile feelings. You may feel fragile, but that's a lot of grist for the meal. It's a lot of... Um, like uh, a muse for your creativity, for your teaching work. So use your sensitivity. Look, here's an angel with a harp. So music's coming up very, very strong, says so nature, going outside. Spending time alone comes up again, as it did when we were in April, you know, doing that life review and honoring your sensitivity. They're also saying to tell you to that, that um, October may be a... Uh, a time of reorganizing your life to make it more of a haven, a safe haven for your sensitivity. So you might be rearranging where you live, um, who you're with is coming up very strong, that relationships might change. It's really about you honoring yourself, your feelings, and going within. This whole year is about that. Instead of externals trying to impress anyone or trying to please anyone it's really about you and God and that relationship strengthening and that bond that connection with God and with source within using your inner guidance as a barometer as, a, as opposed to what other people are saying about you to define you all right let's now look at November so far this year is so powerful and November being the 11 month we come back to the ones, and, and also 11 means creativity. So, dear Lord, show us what card comes up for November. Here it is. Oh, two cards for November. All right. Passion comes up. Passion. Archangel Haniel, that was the angel for the last month, October. So, again, what this is is your, your sensitivity coming over into November. You're still feeling sensitive. But you're putting energy into your passions. This is a priority card and a life purpose card. It is saying to you to be authentic. What do you care about? What do you enjoy? What are you passionate about? And stop giving away all your time and energy to please other in their passion. Take charge. And it says, trust and followed your renewed passion and your love life and your career. So. November coming up is a very time of your heart chakra, of really opening up. And we got a second card, which is moon cycles. I didn't look up what the moon cycle is for November, but you can easily do that with a quick search. Um, but it's Archangel Haniel again. So we've got this angel three times. And this is a shuffle deck. So we've got, um, we've got Haniel, who is the angel of grace, means God's grace. Haniel is one of the ancient um archangels that humankind has connected to going way back to Babylon which was when this angel was first um, revered and, and acknowledged and Haniel is the angel who helps us with our spiritual gifts so the sensitivity the increased psychic awareness um, they're telling me to trust your truth and don't worry if something is being espoused like they're showing me something in the news might be uh, a false flag pointing us in the direction of fear to try and control the masses. Don't believe it. Now, don't put yourself in any danger by rebelling, but do trust your inner truth and stay at peace, okay? So it looks like October and November are going to be um, an internal life with your own personal life where you are just going to say, you know what, no matter what, I'm going to block out this noise and I'm going to stay on my path of my passion and trust it but also acknowledging that um, things are on the external that as a sensitive person might be disruptive. So this will take every ounce of your strength and your power. Luckily, God gave you all the power as he did for all of us because we're made in the image and likeness of God. So there's no part of you that's afraid because there's no part of God that's afraid in spiritual truth. That part that gets afraid, that's the ego. 
and we acknowledge it. We don't stuff it down, but we also don't let it distract us from their path. So bringing it full circle to December, dear Lord, show us what card comes up for December. Here we go. I almost feel like saying drum roll, please, but I put that in the middle. Divine order. Oh, I have angel bumps from this. It's Archangel Raguel, the angel of harmony and peace, whose name means the friend of God. And so it's showing that everything that's happening is in divine and perfect order and that we can really trust it, that everything's happening for a reason. They're showing me that this is the cycle of life, the cycle of the earth, that the cycle through the darkness and the light has happened before on our planet and it will happen again. And not to worry, don't go into any kind of catastrophizing, oh, this is the end of the world. That's impossible. This earth is an ongoing school. It's an ongoing teaching place platform for those souls like you who are brave enough to come here and everyone admires you for coming here and taking on a human body and a life purpose and you've got lots of angels with you for that reason so it is in divine order and I've also been guided to draw a card from the loving words from Jesus deck this is a deck that will be out for Easter and it is not an oracle card deck at all it's a meditation deck with um, only the positive words of the Gospels, the Synoptic Gospels. And so I'm, this is my first time working with this deck, and I am shuffling the cards, and I'm asking Jesus to give us a message for this year to help us to have faith and to trust. And I'm being told just to take the top card here. Oh, I love this. Thank you. It says... Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Fear not. So, the loving words of our Lord, and that's from, I love Luke, it's like my favorite chapter in the Bible. Um, to fear not, this, this year is going to be intense, like I said, but let's approach it with, it's final exam time. Again, not final like it's the end of the world or end of life or anything, but just this is a, a big test for us all to... Fear not and be at peace. You can do it. And of course, I'll be with you all year long on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and whatever new social media comes up in that time. And my prayers are with you always. Remember that you have as much access to heaven as I do or anyone does. I'm not special. I'm a good listener. We all have the same equal access. So make it a great year. Make it your masterpiece. No more dress rehearsal. No more procrastination. No more putting off for the future what you can do today. Every single giant goal was created one baby step at a time. And you can do that. You can absolutely make this year your sweet 16. And my prayers are with you for that. I'm sending you so much love, angel blessings. God bless our whole world. God protect our whole world, please. God protect you and your loved ones. And won't you please say it with me? Aloha.